for today, we are gonna go through thoracic mobility, hip mobility, and then some general strength and mobility exercises that I look to put clients through, um, and we'll take it from there, Yeah. right? Ryan is studying to be stick mobility certified soon. And you guys know how much I love it. <laughs> That's why I got you here. I remember watching you first on Instagram with all the content that you were putting out with these. And I remember seeing people doing them a little bit at Equinox, but the fact that you have to travel with them, you don't see them as frequent as I would like. I know. Who's going to invent the foldable one or that Doesn't, one screws? I think that's the problem, though. It's the getting the elasticity with having one piece. How are you going to do that with two? I will say one thing. Someone brought it up. Uh, I think it was at the conference I was at because we were talking about it. The only thing that really bends this is, the middle. is yeah. the middle. So can there be some sort of apparatus like that? I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay. You're doing the cert. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk about too much basics, although some of the basics that I think are most important, good grip. That's huge. Good grip. Good grip. So no matter if you're pressing it down into the ground, whatever exercise I show you, if you're having it go over your head, it's just keeping good grip the whole time. I'm making stuff up, right? Just going behind me. The difference is I'm not like playing around with my fingers. Sure. I have good grip. Sure. And that changes everything because I make a muscle. Yeah. So that's that's one thing. Good grip. And then straight arms, right? Making stuff up literally as we go. But it's because I have a straight arm, right? When you do this, then you're you're just what are you doing? You're yep. just like... Well, you're, acu you're like activating musculature, which is going to change where you can see in the range of motion you could attain if you were in some sort of like locked out position. Correct. Right? Yep. That's the, the whole reason I started or I wanted to do stick mobility was I felt like my training style is really rigid in the sense of I follow like a protocol, right? Like I think of some people program like, okay, super basic. You get to like bro science and people are like, oh, chest day, back day, right leg day, whatever. Um, maybe you go a little further on, along and you're like, okay, posterior, anterior, right? So I try to think of like, okay, what movement patterns are going to be needed to replicate outside of, in the world that we need to practice in the gym, right? So like, okay, carrying objects, right? Hip hinging, squatting, some sort of single legged like knee flexion, like a lunge, something like that, right? A ground to stand pattern, um, vertical pull, vertical push, horizontal pull, horizontal push. You can get fancier and like I've done, um, um, I think it's in motion or the people who made TRX, um, DP, Derek Price, he has a, like a good seminar that they do. And they get a little bit more complex with like lateral shifting and quick explosive, but like, okay, that's for athletes and I get it, but like, we're not working with athletes most of the time. So how do I then take all those movement patterns I just mentioned and make that applicable for the normal person, right? Most bang for your buck. How do we find 100 exercises that a million people could use? I'd rather that than 10,000 exercises that only 100 people can use, right? I'm not interested in that kind of training for the most part. Um, and I felt like stick mobility was a good way of working people's elasticity. Like, and again, I'm gonna do things which you're gonna have to show me. I don't know if these are movement patterns, just concepts, right? Just, just like, think about the two things we talked about, right? Like, is your, do you have good grip with your right hand when you did that? Right? I think so, yeah. Right? Yeah. And you kept a straight arm yep. and you pushed. Yeah. That's it. And the, the, the concept of pushing and pulling on one apparatus and being able to have like an isometric hold or something, I find very beneficial, which is hard to do with the modalities that are in my gym now, right? So like, again, thoracic rotation, super important. Whether you're an athlete and you play tennis or golf, like I play golf or not, right? You're going to turn and you're going to be seated when you're at the dinner table. Maybe you turn to go reach something like you need to have adequate mobility. So you're not rotating from other places in your spine. Right? So like concepts like that, I found really important that, okay, like this would be a good use. So hence today yeah. I want to pick your brain and kind of see what we can do. Yeah. And even before I forget, um, cause, and this is kind of an advanced thoracic. So here I'm pressing the stick into the wall Yep. and then Pressing over here as well. Okay. Right? Opening up that whole, like, by your lats, but also strengthening it. Give that a try. When you do, like, a lot of these positions, is there a protocol for, like, time under tension? Like, how long you're supposed to hold each rep? Or, like, Great how, do you, how, do you, how do you measure volume? 
overall volume, set volume, rep volume with something that's like isometric holds? What's most efficient? I don't know. Three sets of 10 seconds is sort of by the manual okay. right now with everything. Uh, a friend and member, we've been testing one minute holds, all of these, which has been, I thought, very eye-opening. And it, it's the whole, I mean, you, you hear about like stretching, it's not gonna until like 30 seconds, a minute in. Sure. And like you think about a bow and arrow, right? And we're out. So just a bow and arrow. Yep. And for you guys here, I'll go I'll to the lateral. left okay. and you'll go, you'll go right. Okay, I'll do it lateral as well. I'll face you this okay. way. Okay. Go ahead. So this move right here, you have it on the, at nine or three o'clock, about okay. six inches out. If it's hard, if it's hard for someone to bend the stick, it's further out, you can move the stick in for more advanced. Yep. Right, so I would move the stick six inches from your right foot. Six inches, okay. Yep, hand is down in the middle. Okay. Good. And you're gonna have your left arm go above and behind. Good grip, above thumb facing down. I'm pronated or am I? Okay, uh, so. No, pro thumb okay. facing down. Stick that left hip out. Yep. And press. Good, and now check this out. For a minute, when we hold this, I'm gonna get out of this position. You're gonna stay in it. This is when I can, where the beauty comes in. 10 seconds, you would have already been done. Can you st step your hips back just a tad? Rib flare, can that go in for me? Good. Keep holding it. Toes look good for me. Can you open up further up here and can you have your ears aligned with your shoulders a bit more? Ears aligned with shoulders like no, this? No, 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 no. Just keep that. Yep. Just the head going back. And I would still work on that rib flare. And bring it in. And that was probably 45 seconds, but there's magic in that too. Sure. I haven't seen it yet. I do believe like that's the next method. Sure. Um, that minute method. The other thing I like about the concept of stick mobility is breathing mechanics are obviously so important, right? And when you're holding static poses, you have more time in a position where breathing seems more important because when you're doing movement, it seems easy like eccentric breathing, breathe in, concentric, breathe out, right? <sighs> something like that. But when you make people static hold something, their breathing becomes more erratic because now they don't have cues or signs of when they should be and when they shouldn't be breathing. So I feel like this is a good time when you could use breath holds, you could do breathing mm. drills like four seconds in, four seconds out, eight seconds in, eight seconds out, and you can work on multiple facets of health and wellness in one, Device, right? Yeah. I like that. That That's huge. I don't even think we go into that today. That's a whole nother yeah, sure. ball game.